हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम गौरव गुप्ता फ्रॉम शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल इन्वेंट्री मॉडल्स इंस्टेंटेनियस रिप्लेनिशमेंट फ्रॉम ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट दिस चैप्टर वुड हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एप्लीके एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इंस्टेंटेनियस रिप्लेनिशमेंट मॉडल एजम्पन्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी ई क्यू ई ओ क्यू मॉडल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिमम बैच साइज एंड मिनिमम टोटल इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट इन्वेंट्री इज द स्टॉक और रिसोर्स दैट अ फर्म स्टोर फॉर कैरिंग आउट ऑपरेशन every firm whether in service or manufacturing sector faces with two primary issues related with inventory how much inventory to keep and when to replenish the stock these two questions have been quite accurately answered even before the implementation of new software and technologies the objective of every firm is to keep inventory cost at minimum and to do so the above mentioned two questions have to be answered as accurately as possible the accuracy of answers depend upon preciseness of data collected related to number of item used forecast of each item variation in demand resources available to manufacture items etc with decreasing product life cycles and increasing competition variation and amount of such data is huge which makes necessary to use sophisticated techniques for solution of inventory problems inventory models deals with such problems and provide answer to questions of how much and when to order in such a manner so that total cost is most optimum there are different models available depending on assumptions applied for production and type of sector following illustration indicate the importance of application of these models in both service and manufacturing sector an auto ancillary unit in manufacturing emblems and wheel covers of various car companies the unit has to take into account type of emblems and amount of each type required by particular car company for instance maruti suzuki use insignia of suzuki as well as name of car such as desire etc as emblems now insignia is a constant for all models but name of car changes with each type of car auto ancillary unit faces with a problem of how much of raw material to be ordered to manufacture these two parts problem become more severe when demand of other car companies is also added inventory models help to resolve such issues a retailer who stores variety of products has to constantly be cautious of customer demand for different kind of products storage of one time one type of product requires space and maintenance if it demand is low then it would result in wasteful expenditure whereas retailer would lose customers 
for items which are in demand. Understanding of application of different inventory models would help a retailer to reduce its inventory cost and fulfill customers' demand. The issue of keeping low inventories to reduce holding cost but high enough to reduce frequency of orders, understanding of EOQ is important. This model as the title suggests, calculates size of order that should be placed with supplier and would keep both cost of carrying it and placing new orders at most optimum. Following terms should be understood before evaluating EOQ model. Holding cost also termed as carrying cost is the cost associated with holding inventory in hand. They include storage cost, spoilage cost, obsolescence cost, etc. For instance, a warehouse storing grains has to spend money on its maintenance and prevents it from getting spoiled. Thus, such warehouse incurs much of its expenditure in holding grains. Ordering cost, also termed as setup cost, are incurred on obtaining additional inventories. They include cost of communicating new order, transportation cost, etc. In manufacturing, when machine has to stop for replacement of tools to produce different item, then time is lost in production because of setting up of process. That is why this cost is also called as setup cost. Reorder point is the time when new order is placed. This also indicates the point when out of total stock how much is consumed and how much is left. Estimation of reorder point is crucial for unhindered production as when new order is placed then manager should be sure of having that much stock which can be used till Stock is replenished with new order. Lead time is the time taken by the supplier to replenish the stock. Variation in lead time can play havoc with inventory management. Delay in replenishment can lead to stock out and loss of production or customers whereas making Available stock before time can lead to excess stock. EOQ model can work accurately only if it follows the following assumptions. Demand rate is constant. The indicated line in the figure indicates that daily demand out of the stock of 50 units is constant of 10 units. Thus, units are consumed at fixed constant rate. Size of each lot is constant. In every ordering cycle, number of units ordered is same. It also implies that there are no con constraints in production. A supplier can always without any bottlenecks would be able to provide a fixed batch size of Q. The model takes into consideration only holding and ordering cost. Reorder point is constant. Every order in each ordering cycle is placed at same time or when same number of unit is left in the stock. 
For instance, a batch size of 50 units, daily demand of 10 units, and lead time of 2 days implies that next order should be placed when 2 into 10 equal to 20 units are left in the stock. So in case of every ordering cycle, next order would be placed after 3 days or when 20 units are left in the stock as shown in figure. Lead time is fixed and constant. Supplier should provide a fixed batch size in fixed and certain time period. Model should be applied only for those items whose demand is independent of other items. One of the most important assumptions of EOQ model is that stock gets replaced inter instantly that is why the model is also called a instantaneous replenishment model as a figure shows on x axis, axis is the time and y axis represent a best size at time t equal to 0 stock is full with best size of q equal to 50 meter unit with each passing day the batch is consumed at constant rate of 10 units and after time t equal to 5 days entire batch gets consumed that is q equal to 0 but at the same point in time stocks get replenished with same batch size of q equal to 50 units. This makes EOQ model as instantaneous replenishment model. Notations used in the model are annual demand, H holding cost per unit, S ordering or setup cost per order, Q batch size holding cost between time period of start and end of cycle time period t on an average at any particular unit q divided by two units are being held up in inventory as figure shows with increase in number of units stored in inventory annual holding cost increases if to hold one unit holding cost is h then annual holding cost average inventory level into holding cost per unit q divided by 2 into h ordering cost suppose annual demand of an item is 1000 units and manager orders 100 units per order. Thus he she has to place an order 10 times. Thus D divided by Q represent number of orders. As in figure shows with increase in number of units stored in inventory annual ordering cost decreases if s is setup or ordering cost per unit then annual ordering cost equal to number of orders per year into ordering or setup cost per order equal to d divided by q into s figure deduce a very important relationship between holding and ordering cost. The graph clearly shows that as number of units stored increase holding cost keeps on increasing and ordering cost 
decreases this is quite understandable as with bigger batch size frequency of repeating orders automatically decreases thus ordering and holding cost have an inverse relationship with each other importantly the intersection of holding and ordering cost curve indicates number of units that should be ordered per batch at this intersection point the most optimum total annual cost can be computed as total cost is combination of two types of cost so total cost is equal to annual holding cost plus annual ordering cost so total cost equal to q divided by 2 into h plus d divided by q into s to find minimum possible cost the above equation is differentiated with respect to q and simple minima calculus is applied to find out batch size q which would be q equal to root 2 ds upon h this formula of q would provide manager the most optimum batch size that would be ordered with minimum total annual cost practical examples example 1 yellow press buys paper in 1500 pound rolls for textbook printing annual demand is 2500 rolls the cost per roll is rupees 800 an annual holding cost is 15% of the cost each order cost rupees 50 how many rolls should yellow press order at a time what will be the total cost of keeping that many rolls annual demand equal to 2500 holding cost is calculated 0.15 into 800 equal to rupees 12 ordering cost s equal to rupees 50 number of rolls to be ordered formula of q applied and the solution is 144.3 unit equal to 144 units total annual cost would be q upon 2 into h plus d upon q into s so it becomes 144 upon 2 into 12 plus 2500 upon 144 into 50 so 864 plus 868 equal to 1732 example 2 a firm buys 400 units of tapes per month for use in production content the ordering cost is rupees 12.50 holding cost is 0.12 per tape how many tapes should the company order at time what is the time between order annual demand 400 into 12 4800 ordering cost s equal to rupees 12.50 holding cost h equal to Point one two q equal to root two into forty eight hundred into twelve point five zero upon point one two equal to thousand units. Another concept that is discussed in the example is of the time between orders. It represents the average time elapsed between receiving replenishment of q units. Thus, D, that is annual demand, is consumed in 12 months or 52 weeks or 365 days. Then Q units would be consumed in Q oblique D time period. T B O time between order equal to Q upon D, that is 1000 upon 4800 equal to 0.208. 
that is 2.5 months. Thus, this implies that a batch size of 1000 unit is consumed in 2.5 months and stock is replenished after every 2.5 months. Example 3. Demand per week is 18 units. Price per unit is 60. Holding cost is 25% of the price of the product. Cost of placing an order equal to rupees 45. How many units should be ordered per batch? If in addition to batch size, a computed in a uh, is 390 units and other batch is 468 units, then which batch should be ordered? Also calculate time between orders for each batch size. Solution D equal to 18 into 52 equal to 936 units. H equal to 0.25 into 60 equal to rupees 15 s equal to rupees 45 batch size equal to root of 2 ds upon h so q is equal to root of 2 into 936 into 45 upon 15 equal to 75 units to decide which batch size is most optimal Optimum find total cost for each batch size. Total cost when Q is equal to 75 units. Q upon 2 into H plus D upon Q into S. So it becomes 75 upon 2 into 15 plus 936 upon 75 into 45 equal to 562.5 plus 561.6 equal to 1124.1. So, TBO that is time between order is Q upon D 75 upon 18 equal to 4.16 weeks. Total cost when Q equal to 390 units. Q upon 2 into H plus D upon Q into S. So, it becomes 3033. So, time between orders is 21.66 week. This comes by applying the formula Q upon D that is 390 upon 18. Total cost when Q is equal to 468 units. So Q upon 2 into H plus D upon Q into S. 468 upon 2 into 15 plus 936 upon 468 into 45 equal to 3600. TBO equal to Q upon D equal to 468 upon 18 that comes to be 26 weeks. This implies that with increase in batch size total annual cost keeps on increasing. So, it would be preferable to have a batch size of 75 units. Also, with increase in batch size, TBO will keep on decreasing. Time between order keep on decreasing. An example of lean manufacturing technique in reducing inventory. Inventory means having unnecessarily high levels of raw materials work in progress and finished products. Extra inventory leads to higher inventory, financing cost, higher storage cost and higher defect rates. It tends to increase lead time, prevents rapid identification of problems and increase space requirements. In order to conduct effective purchasing, it is especially necessary to Eliminate inventory due to incorrect lead times. Work in progress is a direct result of overproduction. Excess inventory tends to hide problems on the plant floor which must be identified and resolved in order to improve operating performance. Excess inventory increases lead time, consumes productive floor space delays the identification of problems and inhibits communication. By achieving 
a seamless flow between work centers many manufacturers have been able to improve customer service and slash inventories and their associate cost the just in time philosophy advocates producing or delivering only the necessary parts which the necessary time in the necessary quantity using a minimum necessary resources ideally the appropriate number of parts are produced and immediately shipped when the customer order is received upstream processors and suppliers deliver exactly the appropriate quantity of components when the downstream process needs them in this situation there is no need for inventory eliminating all inventory and work in progress is impossible in the practical sense the key of manufacturing efficiency is continuously decreasing the quantity of each in the system there is a general tendency to react to problems by accumulating a reserve of stock based on an estimate of quality defects equipment breakdown and team member absenteeism single minute exchange of die smed provides a rapid and efficient way of converting a manufacturing process from running the current product to running the next product the rapid change over is key to reducing production lot sizes and thereby improving flow reducing production loss and output variability the phrase single minute does not mean that all change overs and startups should take only 1 minute but that they should take less than 10 minutes in other words single digit minute there are seven basic steps to reduce change over using the single minute exchange of die system observe the current methodology separate the internal and external activities internal activities are those that can be performed when the process is stopped while external activities can be done while the last batch is being produced or once the next batch has started for example go and get the required tools for the job before the machine stops convert internal activities to external ones preheating of tools is a good example of this streamline the remaining internal activities by simplifying them streamline the external activities so that they are of a similar scale to the internal ones document the new procedure and action that are yet to be completed do it all again for each interaction of the above process a 45% improvement in setup time should be expected so it may take several iterations to cross the 10 minute line so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module economic order quantity is an inventory model which is used to evaluate quantity per batch to be ordered so that total cost is kept minimum In this model total cost is function of only holding and ordering cost UQ model works under certain assumptions Some of these assumptions happen only under ideal conditions making scope of this model under very limited conditions One of the most important assumptions of replenishment of stock at the same time when the stock gets finished makes e- eoq as instantaneous replenishment model thank you